Got the XT17T here, tandem axle. I'm going to show you how to set it all up. Underneath here you've got stabiliser legs, there's one of those on each corner. You drop them down and you can level up your van perfectly. It's as easy as just dropping the leg down, clip it in, and wind it down. We've dropped the legs and we've levelled up the van. Now I'll go around each side and undo all the latches and then after that I'll set up the back. Next thing we're going to do is lower the spare wheels. First thing is remove the pin. Then we're going to undo the latches. And drop the wheel down. As you can see it's very easy because that's on gas struts, gas strut assisted. Same again, keep them in your pocket, throw them up in the front box once you're done. Just lift the back up, undo your latches, slot that in, undo your next latch, and then up in here you've got two latches that latch the back in. Pop the latches, just slide that down. And now, this is your extra bed area, and this is your back window. This comes up on gas struts. Pull it in, do your clips up, and on these clips, you can actually put padlocks on there as well for extra security through this hole here. Now, I'm going to go inside and pop the top. set up the mattress. It's as easy as that. Look at that. Doesn't that look comfy? Now I'm going to set up the electric awning. It's good for just an overnight setup or setting up on the side of the road for lunch. It's as easy as this. Is that one man job? Time for a cold one, I think. So, at the moment, this is set up as the double bunk system. You can actually remove this top bunk completely if you want to, if you don't want the double bunks. But this bottom bunk turns into a seating area as well. So, we've got a couple of cushions here for the backrests. Throw them in there. Get rid of this fella. Hook that on there, there's a couple of little latches that locks that in, and then you just drop this leg, and there you go. Now you've got somewhere to eat your breakfast, and this one here, gas struts up out of the way so you're not bumping your head all the time. This here, everyone asks what this is, it's not for stirring your tea or your gin and tonic at night, it's actually an adjuster for the awning. So if the awning doesn't go all the way in or is not going out far enough, you've actually got a little toggle up in here that you can adjust clockwise or anti-clockwise to adjust the tension. It's like a limit adjustment. One of the best things about these caravans is the ease it is to set up the kitchen. You just slide it out, open the lids, connect your gas, and you're cooking up on the side of the road in no time. Or you can be cooking in camp at night in no time as well. Dinner will be ready, such a good kitchen. 
Now have a look at this. We've got the top popped, we've got the back out, got the awning set up, the kitchen's out. It took all of two minutes and now I'm ready to enjoy myself.